Well, uh, to shed more light uh, on uh, this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this uh, phone with our dear guest, Dr. Mohammed Abdel Gilil, uh, the sports analyst. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Well, uh, Dr. Abdel Gilil, uh, now uh, how did you uh, follow the match yesterday? Uh, as we saw uh, the performance of the uh, national team in the second half of the match was uh, completely different from the first uh, half of the match. The second half was uh, good, but uh, the first half was not, the performance was not that good. So if uh, the performance in the second was uh, the same as in the first half of the match do you think that the, the result would have uh, uh, Egypt would have won the match uh, okay um, I think that uh, Egypt national team yesterday uh, had become a very good second half but in the first half I think that uh, Ghana national team uh, has it played a tough game? Uh, it was uh, very, uh, uh, it, very good, it, it was very tough game uh, from uh, Ghana, from Kudus, uh, the captain of Ghana team. Musalah uh, injury uh, in the in the in the last minutes mm -hmm. of the first half uh, has a big effect of the performance of the Egyptian team. Uh, most of people think that it was a negative effect, but um, in the half time, I think that Mr. Wee Vittoria, the Egyptian team coach, uh, has talked about this, has talked about the players, talk about between themselves, and uh, they decided to, to, to play a tough game like like Ghana national team. Mm. Uh, uh, the grint, uh, 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 the tacklings, uh, from the Ghana national team in the first half uh, became the same uh, on the other side of the Egyptian team. Uh, most of people say, oh, Salah is out, uh, Egypt will lose. But I don't think uh, that the players from uh, Ahli, Zamalek, uh, uh, Bundesliga like Omar Marmouche, uh, winger number 22, uh, Trezeguet, uh, Mahmoud Hassan Trezeguet, uh, the, the the left winger and uh, who had a big experience uh, uh, with, uh, with the international games. Uh, all Mustafa Mohammed, of course, as uh, the striker of uh, Nantes in Liga. Uh, all of these players have decided to play a tough game like Ghana, and uh, they they have a good performance uh, in the second half. And it was the seven minutes of madness. Uh, likely, uh, Kudus to score. Uh, Omar Marmouch equalized. Uh, Kudus to score again. Uh, Mustafa Mohammed equalized again. Seven minutes in the second half. With uh, we're very, uh, very excited uh, yesterday match. Yes, uh, so Dr. Abdel Gilil, uh, the formation of the, uh, the national uh, team uh, in the match uh, uh, how, uh, and the coach uh, technical plan during the match, how did you uh, see it? Uh, I think he played for 3-3 uh, three, three, uh, without Ahmed Sayed Zizou uh, and he, uh, he, uh, he decided to make three changes uh, uh, according to the last match uh, against Mozambique, uh, he played with Omar Kamel on the right side instead of Mohamed Haney and decided to play uh, Mam Ashur instead of Ahmed Said Dizou to make Salah uh, more free uh, on the line, on the right line uh, uh, specifically. Um, everyone uh, was... Uh, Shocked by uh, Mohamed Nini. Mm. I think Nini has a big experience, but not in this place, not in the uh, uh, in the in the place like midfielder. Nini li not number six, number six in the ground. That the the destroyer player, uh, the player who uh, makes a very uh, very uh, big uh, tacklings and uh, very uh, too many tacklings. It's not like Nini. And yesterday, the same problem 
uh, occurred. The, uh, the same problem of Mozambique uh, matches uh, with the Egyptian team. The same problem yesterday that if you saw Mohamed Kudus, he plays, he shots, he like um, he was like uh, at a training session, uh, uh, no tackings, no pressing from the midfielders of Egyptian national team. And uh, if you think that Mohamed Salah injury was in the 40, uh, I think 44th minute, and the goal, first goal of Ghana, uh, which uh, uh, scored, uh, was in the 45th minute. Mm. So uh, it's, it's a big chain uh, on the on the on the the correct and the, 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 the hero championship of the Egyptian players. But in the third, in the in the, the half time, uh, Mr. Louis Victoria had talked about the, the players, mm. talked about themselves, and they decided to no, we, we will not uh, uh, go off from the championship uh, too early like this. Yes, uh, Dr. Abdel Gilil, uh, now uh, uh, what are your expectations for the coming matches? Uh, do you think it's, it's much more better that we play uh, our coming matches with Mozambique? Uh, explain to us uh, what's the, the coming uh, uh, stage. Uh, okay, uh, now uh, it's a very complex of uh, qualification or qualifying uh, uh, for both teams, Ghana or Egypt. Mm -hmm. In the next matches uh, on Monday, uh, I think, Egypt will face uh, Cap Verde, mm -hmm. uh, while Ghana will take on uh, Mozambique. Yes. Uh, Cap Verde now, uh, very, very big surprise that Cap Verde now is the, first, is the only team uh, who, uh, who won in this group. So, uh, it's a big surprise, like uh, all surprises in this championship. Uh, of course, this championship is very excited because of surprising uh, results. Mm -hmm. um, I think that uh, there is a, the match today between Mozambique and the Cap Verde uh, will be very important to Egypt team. But Mozambique uh, win or Cap Verde win, the Egyptian team must play the next match on Monday against the Cap Verde. Just to win, no, uh, uh, no wait for any result. Uh, uh, for uh, yes, any that's other what's, yeah. Yes, I want to ask about the points. How many points do we uh, need, or we don't? We need any points. We we uh, only to win the match. Explain to us, please. Uh, Cap Verde is the first with three points. Just two points. Ghana and Mozambique one point, but Mozambique play just one match, mm. not like Ghana two matches. So uh, if Cap uh, like uh, one today, uh, for example, Cap mm. Verde will be the first of the group. Yes. It will be six points and Egypt three, two points. Egypt is still uh, uh, has all the chances uh, to qualify, but uh, it's Relay on the result of much day and much of Monday between uh, Egypt and the Cap Verde. Uh, Ghana is uh, so complex situation uh, of qualifying, but it still have a chance to be of the third uh, uh, place because you know that the third place, the uh, the best four of third place in the championship, uh, will qualify to uh, the 16th, uh, 16th round. Uh, so, um, still all the, co the qualifying uh, possibilities are open now. Uh, we wait the match today and the third round on Monday. Yes. So, uh, Dr. Abdel Galil, what make, uh, makes uh, uh, the match uh, yesterday a very uh, important one and all the Egyptians were uh, waiting uh, for it uh, and the analysts also in Egypt uh, and in the, the whole world of the importance of this uh, match between Egypt and Ghana? Is it because Ghana, uh, Ghana have uh, won the, uh, the African Cup uh, before? Of course, uh, mm. Ghana is a very big team in, yes. uh, in Africa. Ghana has a player who uh, uh, playing, uh, who plays at the Premier League with West Ham, Mohamed Kudus, the man of the match 
uh, yesterday is a very big player. And I have won this title uh, four uh, times before. Um, uh, the third after Egypt and the Cameroon. Egypt seven titles, Cameroon five titles. Ghana is a very big issue in Africa, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that, of course, Ghana uh, very, very uh, uh, problems the, in the last years, not qualifying uh, uh, and to the, uh, 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 the final or semi-final at the AFCON uh, 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 21 uh, or uh, 19 in Egypt. But Ghana is still Ghana, is still yes. a big uh, team. Like a Nigeria, big team, of course. We saw Nigeria yesterday. Uh, they uh, uh, hit Ivory Coast. All yes. of us uh, think that Ivory Coast is the uh, upper hand in the match, but at the final, Nigeria won because of still Nigeria. Yes. So the big team is still big team. I thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you for your valuable information. I really had the uh, pleasure to have this phone with you. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed uh, Abdel Gilil. Uh, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Well, uh, with this, uh, my dear viewers, we come to the end of this episode of our program, The Breakfast Show. My name is Amal Mukhtar. Thank you for watching.